Hi, my name is Tomasz Pruski and I'm a senior level designer for CI Games. I'm here to tell you about Sniper Ghost Warrior 3. We start the game at the safe house. One of the player's hubs with access to the most important tools. At the weapon cache, we are free to choose a loadout which corresponds to our current gameplay needs. In Sniper Ghost Warrior 3, the players are encouraged to experiment with three complementary playstyles. The Sniper, the Ghost and the Warrior, each having its own challenges and rewards. The laptop is used to browse currently available missions and choose which one of them we want to start. Your target is Ivan Khrushchev, a high-ranking officer with one of the syndicates. We were able to track him to the blocks, though we can't pinpoint his exact location. He's also under heavy guard, so <coughs> don't be fancy. Just ice him and get out. Copy that. After choosing mission, we are shown the game's recommended approaches from the Sniper, Ghost and Warrior paths. This is just a recommendation though, and we will not be penalized for choosing a different approach to accomplishing this mission. <coughs> After leaving a safe house, we will always have our vehicle waiting for us in a convenient location. When arriving at a mission area, we will sometimes hear info about optional objectives that can be completed for additional rewards. I've got more info for you, John. A military drone crashed near your vicinity. Luckily, its GPS is still operational. I'll send its last location to you. Find it and recover the data before someone else does. Roger. Be careful on the roads, as you might encounter a variety of deadly military patrols. After we've chosen a good secluded spot, it's time to use one of our recon tools, the drone. The drone lets us scout out a location from a fairly safe distance and mark our enemies and points of interest like mortars or minefields. Be careful not to be noticed, the enemy will attack the drone. When we've gathered all the necessary intel on the location, it's time to move in. First, we'll use the sniper approach. This means evading the enemy from a distance and finding a good spot to take the shot. The building opposite to the heavily guarded outpost looks like a prime location to set up a sniping position.
When a path seems to be blocked, use scout mode to look for places that you can climb. <coughs> Has to be another way. The balcony looks like my only way out of here. view of the entire outpost from up there. That's the drone we're looking for. Roger that. We found a perfect sniper nest, but we still don't have an exact location of the target. We can use tagging bullets to find nearby enemies and tag them even through walls and obstacles. I've got a visual on Khrushchev. Target confirmed. That's our guy. Find a spot to take him out. In scope view, we can zoom in on the target, adjust the scope to the target's distance, and offset the aim to combat wind influence. When we're finally ready to take the shot, we can use breath control to stabilize the sway and then pull the trigger. Target's down. Nice shot. Now get out of there. Okay, let's go back and try that with a different approach. The ghost path is more focused on sneaking in the shadows, luring enemy soldiers into traps, and performing silent takedowns. When playing as a ghost, remember to hide in tall bushes, shoot out lights, and use the environment to gain an upper hand. Kill for warning. For the storm is the worst. Scout mode also shows us interactive objects. We can use some of them for sabotage to ambush our enemies. If there are any soldiers in the vicinity, they will investigate these objects and provide us with an opportunity to strike. We don't have to perform an immediate takedown though. If we are sure that we will not be spotted by other enemies, we can try to interrogate our victims to gain vital information like the location of our target or the distribution of troops on an outpost. Talk or I'll break you! No! I'll talk! I'll talk. I've got a visual on Khrushchev. Target confirmed. That's our guy. Find a spot to take him out. Yeah, I should be able to 
There will usually be an alternative route to your target, aside from the most obvious main entrance. So it pays off to do proper recon before entering an enemy outpost. Some of the objects highlighted in the scout mode can help us create additional scenarios during missions. In here, we can mess with our target's TV antenna to lure him out to the roof. That way, we don't have to get too deep into enemy territory. <coughs> Targets down. Good job with that antenna. Don't stick around. Let's try that one more time with a more aggressive approach. Warrior gameplay is all about creatively using all the tools in our arsenal to eliminate our enemies. However, it is best to have a backup plan and do proper recon before attacking head-on. Going in guns blazing against a horde of enemies without a plan will often spell our doom. Talk or I'll break you. I'll talk. I've got a visual on Khrushchev. Target confirmed. That's our guy. Find a spot to take him out. Use lots of gadgets and hazardous elements of the environment when playing as a warrior to create chaos and destruction within enemy ranks. Good news. Back up! Up there! Up there! Engage! Off by the 
keep an eye on the health bar because it does not regenerate automatically. Explosion on the perimeter! Report! We'll investigate! Nice on take. Opening fire. Thanks for watching this video on Sniper Ghost Warrior 3. Follow us on social media for more info. Sniper Ghost Warrior 3. Available 127.17. Pre-order now.